movie starts with a man named Jim Dodge, a young man going through a newspaper, while sitting down behind his desk at the pet store, where he works as a store attendant. He sees a news in the paper about the death of two storekeepers who were terminated by thieves. He faces the dogs in front of him and starts talking to them as if they understand him, while he is distracted in his so-called discussion with the dogs. His boss comes in without him noticing. He got fired afterward because of his negligence at work. He tries to tell his boss that he will never find someone like him, but his boss doesn't seem to care. Next we see Jim talking to a group of kids. He tells them he is a very rich person who has established himself in the animal healthcare business. He explains he has numerous cars and workers, but we know it's all a lie. Shortly afterward we see him talking to the waitress in a restaurant about the different kinds of food he has eaten. He then goes to a gas station where he begs the owner for job. It is then revealed that the station owner has already fired him on numerous occasions. Jim is ready to work for free, but the station owner still refuses his offer and encourages Jim to leave town in search of greener pastures. As Jim is about to stand up to leave, a beautiful and rich lady, Josie McCollin arrives in her flashy car. Jim starts acting like a gentleman. Josie likes the weird behavior of Jim, and she giggles from inside her car. As he does so, his father Bud Dodge comes from behind and confronts Jim about his job status. Jim starts lying that his boss didn't fire him, but he himself resigned the job. Jim's father drags him to his truck afterward and takes him home. Next we see Jim and his family sitting in the dinner table. Jim's sister says Josie has moved out of town and gone to New York. But Jim argues with her that he met Josie earlier that day. He adds that they had a cup of coffee together, while his father looks at him in surprise. After that Jim's father tells the family that Jim has lost his job and adds that he will no longer pay rent. The following morning Jim's father has a hard time getting Jim to wake up. Moments later Jim's father drives him to a mall. He informs Jim that if he can't get a job at the mall, he will be assigned on a bus to St. Louis to work for his uncle who is a gardener. Jim asks if his father wants him out of his life, but his father responds by telling him all he wants for Jim is to move out of his house. Next we see Jim having an interview with the mall's director. The mall director offers Jim $45,000 per annum, including other benefits. Hearing this Jim quickly accepts the offer as they are about to close the deal. The director receives a call that the person intended for the job has missed his plane, and it immediately occurs to the director that he is offering the job to an entirely different person. Accepting his mistake the director offers him $4 per hour to work as a night cleanup boy, and Jim happily accepts the offer. The next scene shows Josie's father Roger having a meeting with some gentleman from the governor's office. During the meeting Josie enters the house, and her father calls her over to greet the gentleman. Josie goes over to one of them and pecks him on the lips, stunning his father. After their meeting and the departure of the gentleman, Roger goes to Josie's room and warns her not to try what she did earlier. Meanwhile two crooks are seen stealing a couple's car. The next day we see Jim who hires a limousine to take him to work, and his father and mother look unsurprised on his way to work. Jim sees the group of kids he usually lies to. He brings out his head from the limousine, and tells them that he is going to the airport, to board an expensive plane going to Paris, because he has an important meeting with the vice president. After reaching to his place of work, Jim starts acting like the boss to other employees who don't know who he is yet. Meanwhile Josie is also inside the mall busy shoplifting. Later on, after the mall has closed, Jim's boss gives him the details of everything he is supposed to do before the next morning, like cleaning his coffee maker and making sure every corner of the mall is clean. After giving out the instructions, Jim's boss locks Jim inside the mall to be alone over the night. Jim protests that nobody told him he will be alone overnight, but his boss doesn't care and drives away. Instead before leaving, Jim's boss also sets the lights to go off, leaving only the aisle lights on because he wants to save money. Soon afterward, Jim gets down to cleaning, and he has some difficulties in operating some of the equipment. Moments later Jim takes a break from cleaning, and starts eating some of the snacks in the store. He proceeds to call his parents and talks about his plans for Christmas, but they soon hang up because it is late. After that Jim starts having fun with everything he could lay his hands on. As he glides around the mall on a pair of skating shoes, he suddenly runs into Josie, and this causes him to fall into some of the goods rack. Meanwhile, Roger has gone to the police station to report his missing daughter, and he teams up with the police to search for Josie. Back in the store Josie tells Jim that she fell asleep in the storeroom earlier on. Josie reveals that she was contemplating whether to get arrested for shoplifting or not, but she later changed her mind out of fear. She then informs Jim that her father is not a pleasant man 
and he gives her pain. After that, Jim makes use of the microwave in the mall to prepare a meal for him and Josie. He then tells Josie that his father is a cement contractor, and he is the one that poured the cement for Josie's family house pool. As Jim keeps on talking, Josie asks him if he usually talks excessively like this, and Jim says not really Josie, then points out that he should go into sales, because that would be good for him, but Jim says he has done so, and didn't work out. Later on Jim is talking about how he likes to take expensive smoke, after Emil and Josie lets it out that he is the one. Everybody calls the town liar. Jim seems upset about the fact that everybody in the town is calling him a liar, but he soon shakes it off and continues talking. Josie reminds him that he still has a lot of cleaning to do, and Jim replies that there's time. Josie reveals that she planned to steal something here, so she can get arrested, and be taken away from her not-so-pleasant father. Josie points out that Jim is happy with the life he is living, but Jim argues as he don't think it's right. During the process Jim gets offended by how Josie is pointing out his cons, and leaves her to continue his cleaning. As Jim cleans Josie puts on the music and Jim starts rocking to the music. Upon seeing him happily dancing, Josie turns it off. Afterward Josie makes use of the audio system to communicate with Jim. She tells him that since there is nobody to impress or lie to in the mall, he should tell her the truth about what he wants for his future. And if he really likes living in his parents' house, Jim responds that he is not lying. Just then Josie comes close to him. The two then start having a discussion. Jim agrees that he is a liar and the duo starts pointing out the cons in their life. Jim says Josie is very wealthy but she wants to steal just to get freedom from her father. While Josie says Jim is wasting the freedom he has, Jim asks Josie why she couldn't just sit with his father and talk to him, or probably leave him. Josie then says that it's the same reason Jim doesn't want to leave his parents' house. Josie states it is the fear of being alone. Josie tells Jim that they should leave town together and move to Los Angeles. Jim refuses at first but when he hears everything Josie's father does to her, he agrees. Josie then reveals that she has 52,000 in her purse, which they can use to get away and start a new life. They decide to go away the following morning. Moments later, Jim asks Josie to dance with her, and she obliges. As they dance the duo kisses briefly soon. Afterward Officer Don and Josie's father arrive at the mall. Officer Don asks Jim if he has seen Josie but he says no. Meanwhile the two crooks from earlier have arrived around the mall and planning to rob the store. While Josie and Jim are having fun, they are confronted by the two crooks, who aims at them but they accidentally knock the crooks out. Upon seeing that the thieves are unconscious, Josie and Jim quickly run to hide. Shortly afterward the thieves start looking for both of them, and soon find them. The thieves tell Josie and Jim to lay down. Then thieves start interrogating Josie and Jim about who they are. Shortly afterward, Jim tricks the thieves into surrendering. After that the thieves inform Jim that the guns aren't loaded. Jim then proposes a truce and gives the thieves their guns. But as he does so the thieves reveal to Jim that they lied to him. Meanwhile Josie is saying sweet things to one of the thieves. After they are done packing their loot, Josie convinces the thieves to take her along. While the criminals are loading stolen merchandise into their car. Josie jumps into the front seat and drives away leaving the two men stranded in the parking lot. Back in the mall Jim loads up a shotgun found in the head custodian's locker and tricks the two crooks by luring them to the back of the store and capturing them. In the morning Officer Don arrives and stumbles upon the two crooks. Jim and Josie run away and are then seen lounging next to a pool in Hollywood and it becomes a happy ending. I hope you like the film.